Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you as always for being here. You guys are the best. Last month, I skipped my Cassie's Popcorn Pick of the Month just because, you know, so many movies, so little time. But I'm bringing it back for Sabrina. Now, I know I have been told this is a remake of an Audrey Hepburn movie, I believe, but I hope I'm not gonna make too many people mad. I'm just jumping right into the Harrison Ford version. This has been on my list for a while, ever since I fell in love with Harrison Ford and Indiana Jones. I think it's a romantic comedy, which, pfft, who likes those anymore after seeing all these other movies? Just kidding, I still love them. I have no idea what the story's about or any of the premise. I just know Harrison Ford, rom-com, if you insist. I would have had Carly watch this with me, but she has actually seen it before, which is weird because it's older than 2000. <laughs> she thinks I will love it. Let's get started. Remember, if you want to vote on polls right now, we've got a fun summer blockbuster sci-fi one going on right now. E.T. is currently winning with The Fifth Element in second place, maybe followed by Robocop. Anyways, that is going on Patreon. It's also just a super fun community. You get early access, full-length reactions. You can sit down and watch full-length reaction with me. If not, that's okay, but will you please like and subscribe? Hit the little bell. We do premieres every time we release a video on YouTube and I always, 99% of the time, live chat with you guys on there, which I always have a lot of fun doing those. Okay, Sabrina, let's do it. If you've been watching my latest videos, I've been trying. Some of you have been asking. Hammond's Finest. There's been peanut butter and jelly and Coca-Cola, bacon and potato chips, the worst one so far. The best one, coconut cream pie. Today I'm doing more s'mores. Milk chocolate with marshmallow and graham, so. Once upon a time. Well, this looks like a dream. There was a very, very large mansion, almost a castle, where there lived a family by the name of Larrabee. Larrabee. There were servants inside the mansion and outside the mansion. Look at that garden. That's what dreams are made of. And over the garage, there lived a chauffeur by the name of Fairchild and a daughter named Sabrina. The Larrabees were noted for the parties they gave. Hmm. It never rained on the night of a Larrabee party. The Larrabees <laughs> wouldn't have stood for it. <laughs> This is so good. There was Maud Larrabee, who inherited Maud. the Larrabee Corporation when her husband died. Senator! That's Maud, Maud, Maud. There was Linus, the older son, turned a hundred million dollar family business into some serious money. Well, I just don't feel like buying any more networks. There's never anything good on. <laughs> Linus. But most of all, there was David. He was handsome and charming and funny and romantic. It's so rare to meet such a beautiful woman. That's um... Your sense of humor and irony and hair color. David did a gap ad. <laughs> David did a gap ad. Full-time observation of David Larrabee is not a recognized profession. <laughs> Get out of that tree. He's the dad from that Miley Cyrus movie, the last song. Would not have thought of him as a, you know, the family hotshot, but that should be Mr. Ford. It's just you, Sabrina. I thought I heard somebody. No, it's nobody. My gosh, she's the girl from Legends of the Fall, the one that loved all the brothers. This is so good. I don't like traditional s'mores because there's too much graham cracker and not enough chocolate. This is very delicious. Sabrina, you've spent more of your life up that tree than you have on solid ground. The time in Paris will be so good for you. She's still in Paris. What if he forgets all about me? How can he forget someone he doesn't know exists? Ouch, I didn't mean Dad. That, Sabrina. There's much more to you than this obsession. I hope you know that. Thanks, Dad. Is Harrison Ford just going to be a side character in this? Um, I need more help, Andrea Coulson told me you just fired her son. He's an idiot. Listen, I gotta drop something off in David's room. You missed my fireworks. It's okay, Mother. I had a pony ride and I got my face painted. <laughs> <gasps> she thinks it's David in his room. I came to say goodbye. What? Uh, don't come out. If I look at you, I might not be able to get through this. Oh my god. 
Gosh. Please don't say anything. I'm leaving tomorrow for Paris. I don't expect you to think about me while I'm gone. You haven't thought about me while I was here. I just want to say, I think I know you better than anybody else. This... Hold on, I really want to listen to the speech. And for what it's worth, know that someone very far away is thinking of you. So if there's anything I can ever do... Could you bring me one of those little Eiffel Tower paperweights? Oh, oh. So he knew that she was saying this to David. Oh, poor girl. Oh my gosh. Please don't tell me she gets to work for Vogue in Paris. She was so drop-dead, gorgeous, beautiful, natural in Legends of the Fall. And I think they're making her look kind of like, you know, the glasses and the bangs and the clothes so that she can blossom like the beautiful flower she is. You speak no French, yes? No. No? I mean, yes, I don't. Sorry, please, could you repeat the question? Alors, very, very important. Manolo. All the days most important. Manolo. 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 What in the world? Poor girl. This would be so overwhelming. What are we looking for? An eyelash? A contact? I tortured her. Now she tortures you. Succeed. You get someone of your own to torture. I doubt every single person in Paris thinks you're an idiot. Only because I haven't met them all. What matters is you're away from here. Not constantly thinking about <laughs> you know who. Please tell me that's the gap ad. It was. She's miserable. I know it. I told you not to send her. Oh, Mr. Tom, when I first come to this country, I am alone. Like Sabrina. I just weigh more. So <laughs> I asked God why I am here. But there is no answer. I stopped crying. It takes 11 years. Thank you, Rosa. Oh my gosh. I love the craziness of this. <laughs> Out of there. Have a drink with me. <laughs> oh no, please don't fall in love with the first man who pays you attention. Unless he's really nice. It's like her crush box. Please tell me we all had a crush box. Saved every ticket with every boyfriend or juice box that the boy in seventh grade gave me. <laughs> She's a doctor. When you guys meet her, just try to make me look good. I mean, I know I look good, but mention my accomplishments, my qualities. His Gap ad. You can be creative. Lie, okay? What's her name? Elizabeth Tyson. Tyson Electronics, Tyson? Great hat, mother. Bring her around. We'll try and make you look good. So you guys work Sundays now, huh? It's Wednesday, David. <laughs> David, David, David. I want you to start buying up chunks of Tyson stock. Not so much that anybody would notice. I hope she doesn't look like Patrick. <laughs> she was just promoted to assistant head of pediatrics. I told her the hospital can count on us for a couple million dollars. David! <laughs> Is he a world-class philanthropist or what? <laughs> just a couple million. Pocket change. I'm excited to see how this all comes together. I'm such a good photographer, but someone is in the way. Is it this David you mentioned 40 or 50 times when you first came over? She's in deep. Illusions are dangerous, people. They have no flaws. Wise words. I came here from Provence. For eight months, I sat in a cafe and I wrote nonsense in a journal. And then, somehow, it was not nonsense. I met myself in Paris. She met you herself. Seem embarrassed by loneliness. It's only a place to start. I'm sorry about your party. Draw you a hot bath with a superb omelet. You are the best. Making a hot bath and an omelet are roughly on par with saving a five-year-old kid's life. It'll save my life. God, you're easy on me. Then why don't you marry me? Okay, why don't I? Uh... You sure you know what it is? That thing where you hang together and button each other's hard-to-reach buttons. Then I accept. Come again? Really? Why? Did she just propose to him and then accept? Do we like her? She seems very nice. Seems very fast. Mr. Larrabee? Ron, Ron, I need to talk to you. Ron, Ron. Ron. <laughs> He's got the Professor Indiana look going. 
You've been pushing me into this relationship so you could engineer a merger with Tyson. Pushing you? You begged me to make you look good in front of Elizabeth. I'm not in any position to take care of a wife. Elizabeth is a doctor and a millionaire. She won't be a burden, but she appears to love you. Doesn't that worry you a little bit? I mean, about her mental health? <laughs> Why does he want him to marry her? Damn thing's indestructible. We've got so much competition in this merger. Oh yeah, yeah, man. My Linus, you're talking about my life. Gosh. I pay for your life. Linus, I think you have enough. Just you can chill. You're making me like you less. My baby girl. Talented MD. And to my future son-in-law, lucky SOB. <laughs> Just kidding. Not only is this the joining forever of two gorgeous people, but two gorgeous companies. Okay, this is the most unromantic toast. May your first child be a masculine child. It's from Serpico. Tell Yoshi to bring the food to belly. We. Oui. You're quite a linguist. I bet I could still get your seat back in the upright position. Whenever they try to be funny, it comes out perverse. <laughs> you don't get used to it. Be sure to tell you. He's, you. he's, he's not all okay. Of you my dearest Sabrina. I know how strongly you have always felt. Have they ever even like spoken or in David? It was all an illusion. I'm in Paris, but you're somewhere else. I'm sorry, Louis. I would like to help. But what do you have really to fix sweet. it? We'll fix it in bed. We'll have to fix it here. Oh my gosh. I gotta go there. She's finding herself. Dear Dad, this is my last letter from oh, Paris. Her voice is so good, so mm -hmm. calming, like an ocean. Actually, I don't like the ocean. Like a lake <laughs> without fish. Okay. Across the street, someone is playing La Vie en Rose. They do it for the tourists. It means seeing life through rose-colored glasses. Only in Paris, where the light is pink, that song makes sense. But I'll have it in my pocket when I get home. Oh. And I'll take it with me wherever I go from now on. Oh, Sabrina! How are you? He doesn't know who she is. I'm, I'm great. How are you? Good. <laughs> I'm just surprised to see you here. You know me, don't you? He doesn't know. <laughs> Can I give you a lift? I can't remember the name of your street. Desaurus Lane. That's where I live. Small world. Does he really not know? You don't recognize me, do you? Did she cut her hair? You're my neighbor. Is it up or did she cut it? Either way, it's gonna be fine. I heard somewhere that you're engaged to be married. Oh, yeah, I am. So come on, give me a clue. Oh no, this is too much fun. Is this like destroying her actually inside? She's like committed her life to loving him and he doesn't even recognize her. Looks like you're having a party. They used to have lovely parties here. Then you've been to them. I saw the lights from a distance. I think she cut her hair. Okay, she's still beautiful. The party's at nine o'clock. Oh. Will you come? Do you really want me to? If you'll tell me who you are. Hello, Sabrina. <laughs> Sabrina, have a good time in Paris? <laughs> yes, thank you. Sabrina, you look all grown up. Sabrina? What does he keep saying, though? I need to go find my father. One, like, half look. Hey, Sabrina. <laughs> no. What are you talking about? I was just... No. No, David. No. I love how the staff just loves her. For going out, for staying in, for laughs. <laughs> Better than Christmas. Who took these? I did. I hope he hangs up before tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is Mrs. Larrabee's birthday party. I've been invited. Of course, she didn't know it was me when he invited me. Now that he knows. I'm still invited, I guess. <sighs> Don't remember? Don't go back to it. I've never invited them before. I mean, I get they work there, but still. I still think that's so funny. Hi, Sabrina. <laughs> You're engaged. You look beautiful. So do you. Look good. Have the confidence before he knew who you were. Girl, don't, but don't love him. This world is so far from anything I can imagine. Break this as quickly as possible and it won't seem so strange to you. <sighs> the flat screen. He's doing business at the party. Linus. Rosa, you are a princess. <laughs> okay. 
He is charming, isn't he? Who's that? The one with David. Oh my God, that's Sabrina. David's known her since she was two years old. She didn't have that dress when she was two years old. She's drinking champagne, eating seafood, and her hair is washed. He made a song for her. <laughs> he made it so. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Dance with me. No. While the music's playing, it's harder when they stop. Come on. Your fiance's parents are here. Why does he not feel weird about this? I love that. I've been to every party you've ever had. Watching from that tree. And now here we are, dancing in front of God and everyone. I should have paid more attention to you. It feels so good to hold you. <laughs> you know how beautiful you are? No. You're dazzling me. Oh my God. Gosh, stop saying all the right things. I don't think you realize what you've done to me. Then you better tell me. You're changing everything. She's like a sister to him. I have a sister. That's not how we dance. <laughs> she kills me. The mother. Maud. Ma. Why can't I say that word? Maud. Maud. No, David. Don't, don't. Sabrina, let's go someplace we can talk. Well, let me guess. Two wine glasses in the back mm -hmm. pocket. We could just go to the solarium and you bring a bottle of champagne and you put the glasses in the back pockets of your jacket. You are paying attention. And the orchestra will play. How can I remember? I'll have them do that. And then afterwards, I'll wake up. Same old. You, know. you got a minute? You are hustling the chauffeur's daughter. <laughs> well, when you put it like that. I can't have a drink with an old friend. I really think that I'm falling in love oh. with her. Oh, God. I didn't plan this. I can't help it. Mother, go outside and blow out your candles. Can't we send somebody? Can't I pay somebody to blow out my candles? You tell her to meet you in the solarium. She knows you're going to show up with a bottle of champagne. That's not it? The jet to Martha's Vineyard. House seats to some sold-out show. Drinks at the Carlisle. Wow. Day or two of that, she'd fall for Noriega. You don't know her. You sense. don't know her! David, sit down. I can't talk. Just someplace. sit down. Go get Dr. Calloway. Sabrina. I'll take care of her. So sneaky. He totally knew. Ah, oh, Sabrina, Sabrina. He's Harrison Ford, Linus. He's not a Linus. He's just so nerdy and analytical, and I just want him to let loose a little. You won't be able to make it. He sent me. He sat on a champagne flute. Oh, I thought okay? he was going to lie. A couple of stitches. You can see him tomorrow. They sent you to deal with me, haven't they? They? Like a lawyer in a movie. It goes to the unsuitable waitress. The family is prepared to offer you $100,000 to stay away from their son. No. 200000 No. A million. No self-respecting lawyer would offer less. No self-respecting waitress would take it. Good girl. You don't object? It's as though a lovely breeze has swept through this whole house. Even though the breeze comes from the general direction of the garage? It's the 90s, Sabrina. It's the 90s. There's no class system. But there kind of is. It's like a gentle breeze. They played that the night before I left for Paris. They often do. He was dancing right here with someone. He often does. And tonight you wanted it to be you. He's engaged, Sabrina. It's all in the family. I never thought of you as a dancer. Crazy about it. <laughs> in all those years, I never saw you do this. Never did. It before. Is it impossible to believe that I want to dance with the prettiest girl at the party? Yes, it is impossible to believe. Then you don't know me. No, she doesn't. Oh, I almost forgot. She's been blinded. <gasps> he the always the does that. David. That escalated quickly. Maybe it's better if you pick up your messages in person. Good night. I've been trying to finish this thought, but I could not talk during this chemistry ish. I thought he was going to come out there and be like, David changed his mind. He doesn't want anything to do with you. Cancel whatever I've got and set up the vineyard cottage. Well, hell, I'm up. You're up. You weren't. Thank you very Thank much you. for coming. Yeah. Good to see you. Frank, what is it? An epidemic of sleeping sickness? <laughs> I'm up. Everyone should be up. Something strong and mixed with a sleeping tablet like Halcyon. We're drugging David? I haven't proved that, Frank. Uh -oh. He's not going to sue his own mother. Well, he's not me. <laughs> Maybe I should talk to Sabrina. Sabrina, David has a short attention span. He's just jerking your chain. Can I say that to a woman jerking your chain? I kind of love her. This whole thing happened in 24 hours. I can make it unhappy in 48. I like Sabrina, but I'm not about to kiss off a billion dollars. I don't care what she did to her. <gasps> He's not going to pretend, is he? Oh, she looks so cute. David, can you hear me? David! Serena. 
I get you the hand. We got you a two-day supply of red jello. He's treating you like a child. You really should. I'm sure it'll be more responsive next time. We have this summer cottage on the vineyard. I want to put it on the market. I was going to have a few pictures taken. Thought you might like to take them. Why is that a lot to ask? Is he going to pretend to like her just so that she stays away from David? I don't want him to be cruel. Or, I'm no chick flick newbie here. He's going to pretend to like her, but then, of course, actually fall in love with her. Then she's going to find out somehow and be mad. But in the end, they'll find their way back to each other. Are these two going to be in love? I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun? <laughs> Something to drink, Mr. Jones. Sabrina. Oh, what a beautiful name. Carol. Sorry, Mr. Larrabee. Really is a beautiful name. It's in a poem. Oh. Sabrina Fair, listen with thou art sitting in the loose train of thy amber dropping hair. Amber dropping hair. At Carol. <laughs> Don't you have to look out the window? When I have time. What happened to all that time you saved taking the helicopter? Storing it up. No, you're not. Maybe he's scared to look out the window like me. This is reminding me of a movie that I really like. It's got the same vibes. I can't figure it out. I'll have to look at the director after. Is it always like this? I don't know. I haven't been here in years. Look at those people have a place like this and never come here. Just never had anybody to share it with. I guess. So cute. Not me, the house. I don't like having my picture taken. I come out looking depressed. Are you depressed? Lonely, maybe. You think that's funny? No, I just. It is funny. No, it's not. Do you want a view from the house? Sure. Pick one. I don't know anything about. Don't take a picture. Just look. Ocean, ocean, ocean. Guy going into the lighthouse. What kind of a guy takes a job keeping a lighthouse? Every time I look through a camera, I'm surprised. It's like finding yourself in the middle of a story. Like you just did. I think I'd be taking pictures all my life. Long before I ever had a camera. The way she talks, it's just... Lousy. I'm more affected than she is. Damn near cried twice. I don't know what to try. What a beautiful building. I hope they don't tear it down. They won't. I own it. That old block. I donated it to the village as a halfway house. Jails are full of guys that never had a break. Please don't be lying, Linus. Could you take a picture of us? Yeah. <sighs> oh, I thought he was gonna give the guy like a hundred dollar bill for taking the picture. You are not exactly what people say you are. What do they say I am? Oh, you know. No. His voice too, like butter. That you're the world's only living heart donor. He thinks that morals are paintings on walls and scruples of money in Russia. Well, that's droll. And then there's my favorite. No, 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 I get the picture. Do you remember the rainy afternoon we spent together? He doesn't seem that bad. I came into your house and tried to turn on a lamp, but I got a shock. I thought I'd been struck by lightning, and you stayed with me all afternoon. Don't pretend like you don't remember, came. Linus. And you didn't cry. You are a brave kid. No, I was more afraid of you than being electrocuted. Everybody was. <laughs> Well, that ruined the moment. Those are the only things people say about me? <laughs> it was a nice day. You are a little tough on me, I thought. I guess you used to be treated very carefully. Well, good night then, Sabrina Fair. From the poem. Linus? Yeah. Oh my gosh. My father once asked David why he stopped coming to the office. And David said, what do they need me for? Linus is there. I do real work in the real world. David watches from the North Shore. But that's work. Where do you live, Linus? Where were you in town? Linus wanted me to take some pictures. Linus did. I love so many things about you, Dad. Best of all, you decided to become a chauffeur to have time to read. All my life, I've pictured you sitting in the front seat waiting for the Larrabees and reading. We had baked clams. Linus baked them. What was he like as a child? Shorter. <laughs> <laughs> he's still sleepy. Oh, is that normal? When you take him when he's taken, it is. Could you tell him Sabrina was here? I could tell him the Pope was here, but I don't think it'd make a dent. You know that old brick building we own out at the vineyard? Yes. You ever heard me referred to as the world's only living heart donor? <laughs> <laughs> Have the rounds find out if there's any tax advantage to donating that building. And if there isn't? Then forget it. Linus? When I want tickets tonight for whatever Broadway show nobody can get tickets for. The actors will dance about and burst into song. Forget the thing about the tax advantage. When I want it used as a halfway house. He was lying, but oh my goodness. I forgive him. He's coming around. Come in. Make yourself comfortable. Wow. This is where I do that real work instead of living. You remembered. You're very photogenic. It's because I'm handsome. 
No, that's not it. Not as handsome as David. Nobody's as handsome as David. Arguable. Even David. Are you sure I can't get you anything? Snails, french fries, <laughs> theater tickets? I don't want him to be pretending. It was my favorite food in France. It's this little place in Fagal. I ate there at least twice a week. Loosen oh, really up so the tie. Eat with your hands. Do you mind? Ow. Not since I made that contribution to the NYU burn unit. What food are we eating here? It's interesting. Have to try it with soup sometimes. <laughs> oh, that's a little bit of a montage for me, isn't it? Along the Seine, there's a four-mile walk that takes you past all the bridges of Paris. Twenty-three of them. And you find one you love, and you go there every day with your coffee and your journal and listen to the river. What does it tell you? That's between you and the river. You're listening to you talk makes me wonder if I shouldn't... What? ...spend some time in a place that I love like that. Not just a few days, but for a real change. What exactly are you saying? I'm not sure. I do what my dad did. He did what his dad did. My whole life, I mean. I never chose. You're not really thinking about Paris. My lost cause, then? I don't like to think of anyone as a lost cause. <sighs> well, I told the nurse to tell David I'd look in on him. Let's walk a little. Was there anything you didn't like about Paris? How expensive everything is. I'd have to learn how to say, I'm just looking. How do you say, this is what I want? Oh, wow. How do you say, I'm looking at what I want? I don't remember. Oh, this is kind of complicated, isn't it? It was a really nice night. Linus, what do you want? What do you really want? Couldn't he have both? The action of the office, but also breaks and she can't handle herself with him, you know. She's not a little girl anymore. She seems, Time. I don't know, displaced. She doesn't belong in a mansion. She doesn't belong above the garage either. Most people live in between. Oh boy. How are you feeling? It's like getting out of bed for a while. Max says you guys went to the theater? Just dinner. Moroccan on the floor. Moroccan. Well, it was good, thanks. So, we never had that drink in the solarium. David, what's going to happen? Well, I could probably scare us up some champagne, a couple of Dixie cups, through with glasses. I meant after that. Whatever, I don't know. Don't you? Is that so bad? No. I really think you should rest now. Okay. He... I want you to get me two tickets to Paris. One in the name of Sabrina Fairchild. I almost forgot. The Tysons are here waiting. I put them in David's office. I got the same thing with a nephew. I gave him a huge office, but he's never there either. So we use it for lunches. What's the problem, Patrick? I feel like, uh, what's that word? What a lot of guys are after you. Whore. I was thinking more, uh, debutante. Somebody else wants to be in bed with Tyson Electronics. You know Intermediate? Mm -hmm. He's... Cash, stock. Okay. I told him we're practically family, you and I. Good. Elizabeth came home last night. She called David. And we got the impression you, that... You got the impression. I got the impression that he wasn't as anxious as he should be to see her. Good morning. Would you mind another trip into the city? That little leprechaun was making a veiled threat. That little leprechaun, she says. His threat was what? If David and Elizabeth don't get married, then we don't get the deal? Things have been progressing with Sabrina. We've bonded. Last night over a handful of chicken, I told her my life was in need of some radical changes. Were you telling the truth? I told her I was thinking about moving to Paris. And she believed you? More than that, I think she'll want to go with me. So here's the way it'll play out. <gasps> Sabrina will go to Paris with me. David will return to Elizabeth. The merger will close. We'll make a very large sum of money. What happens to Sabrina? She grows up. Did you think there was some nice way to do it? I just don't want Sabrina to be... What? Unhappy? A pawn for your stupid merger? I think I'm getting old. I feel terrible. Take a pill. Watch it. He's not being nice I'm right still now. your mother. And you taught me everything I know. I didn't teach you this. So all of it has been a lie? I don't believe that. And I don't like how confident he was. Oh, I just know. We're bonding. She'll come with me. I just know. I don't like that, Linus. I was beginning to worry. Why? Didn't you want to come? I asked you first. I asked you second. I've been wandering around Manhattan all afternoon. Something to do with maybe never seeing you again. How could that be a problem? What? I asked you first. What you said, whatever it is, makes what I was going to say obsolete. Was she saying she never wants to see him again? Who cut your hair? Tony. Tony? Tony was my dad's barber. He's 94. Maybe his hair's not as steady as it, as it used to be. This is real. I want you to come to Paris. I can't believe he's not being real right now. You convinced me that there were some things missing in my life. Like what? Like a life. I 
don't know what I want. Say yes now. We leave tomorrow. Tomorrow? I have to talk to David. Just come and away. You are formidable, aren't you? He's looking at her. What will you tell him? Why is this making me want to cry? Here are the tickets. And the other things are being taken care of. Good night. Oh, <laughs> I don't understand what happened. I wasn't even interested. Gee, thanks. And I wrote in my stupid journal and I cut my stupid hair. I my stupid other You've made me so happy. Linus. What are you doing? I can't do this. What is it? It was all a lie. Everything I said to you from the moment I brought the champagne into the solarium. What is he doing? I don't believe you. There was a merger. You got in the way. Plan is to take you to Paris, then leave to get you out of the way. That is so hurtful. What other things are being taken care of? She said other things. An apartment for you in Paris, a bank account. How much? 500,000 francs. Your first offer was better. You can have more. I don't want any. Was I really so bad for David? That's not it. It's about a piece of plastic. Nothing personal. This is stupid TV. Oh, it's almost making me not like Harrison Ford. Paris is always a good idea. I was happy that you would have been too. I'll drive you home. I'm flying home. Also, I never want to see you again. Please don't go back to David. I thought we were going to talk. I was with Linus. Of all the girls I've known, and I've known some. Is that a song? You're the only girl I danced with only once. Twice. Was it champagne? I was eight. And you were taking dancing lessons. I was homework. I won a ticket to Paris. Lucky. Traveling alone? I don't know how I want this to end. Well, I do. I want David to be happy. I don't think he should marry the girl if he doesn't love her. And I want Linus to smarten up and run to the airport. Take this Paris ticket and transfer it to the name of David Larrabee. Linus! Good morning, David. I got a surprise for you. I got one for you, too. <laughs> how could you do what you did to me and to her? What the hell makes you think you have the right? Habit. I tried something and it didn't work. I want you to go to Paris today with Sabrina. I screwed up everything. Yeah, you did screw up everything. I manipulated her. Yep. I confused her. But she's loved you all her life. Go with her. I don't want her to have to leave here alone. What about Patrick and the merger? Piece of plastic isn't worth it. You'd blow a billion dollars for this? I see. Get going. Mr. McCardle, I want to see you in my office right away. Where, where is it? <laughs> I was driving Mr. Larrabee Sr. at the time. When he bought, I bought. When he sold, I sold. Dad, are you telling me you have a million dollars? <laughs> no, a little over two million. Your mother and I were happy here. We always dreamed of what it would be like to do this for you. Two million dollars might have exceeded their expectations. I have goosebumps. But then you've always exceeded mine. Oh my gosh. I know what his instructions were, but it's a mistake. Just get started and I'll call you back. <laughs> Her dad is so cute thanks for getting here so quickly i need to tell you a story and i need for you to tell me how it's gonna turn out all those years you made all of that money and you never told any of us how to do it tell you now joanna marry me for my money i'm not amused then marry me for love <gasps> wait is she gone the Rons. <laughs> What's the emergency? No, darling, if I knew. What the hell is going on? We've known each other for a long time. We saw the potential of this merger. What has David been up to, though? The purpose of this meeting is to inform you that my brother David is late, as usual. Elizabeth and I have decided to elope. You didn't go with her? Well, obviously not, Linus. And you didn't see her before she left? I told her I felt kind of funny accepting my brother's hand-me-downs. What's David doing? Who? <laughs> he, he loves her. Who? <gasps> Sabrina. Is he packed? Is who packed? You are. You went to my apartment? I took her. We were up to our elbows in your underwear. It was like touching the shrine. Out of Turin. Oh. Here, sign this. <laughs> the completion of the merger. The plane ticket's been changed to the Concorde. If you make it, you just might beat her there. Go, Linus. Don't think. Don't think. She must absolutely hate me. She'll get over it. We all do. <laughs> it's time that you ran away from home. But sign these first. David's finding himself. If you'll excuse me, it appears I have a previous engagement. 
this merger is going to make it essential to restructure a couple of divisions. David, mm -hmm. when did you ever... Mother, you've copied David. me on the financial statements for 17 years. Just assumed I couldn't read. David. <gasps> it's her dad. Go ahead, say it. You don't deserve her. I don't. But I need her. Oh. I don't need anything. M. G. I don't, but I need her. I don't need anything. Run for it. I just want to make her happy. That's rude and close out. Last call for Concorde supersonic flight to Paris. Supersonic flight to Paris. <laughs> it's terrifying. First time on the Concorde, Mr. Larrabee? Yes. But not your first time in Paris. It's my first everything. Okay, can I just say, I really liked back in the office when that guy was like, who's Sabrina? Chauffeur's daughter. And he said, don't call her that. He loves her. He was ready to blow a billion dollars to make her happy. <sighs> Paris is always a good idea, you said. Say the right thing. Say all the right things. You need to say so many, be so many right it things. It couldn't have been without you. How did you know where to find me? Your father. I told him I need you. I don't need anything. I told him I'd make you happy. I promised him. I thought it was all a lie. It was a lie. And then it was a dream. And then it was love. I don't know how to believe you. How could I ever? Because you know me. I think you know I love you. Once upon a time, there was a very, very large mansion, almost a castle. I've been following in footsteps all my life. Save me, Sabrina Fair. Oh my gosh, you he did it. Who can. He said all the right things. <laughs> they lived a small girl, and life was pleasant there. But then one day, the girl grew up and went beyond the walls of the ground and found the world. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> this is it. This is how I wanted it to end. go to Paris. I'm just gonna watch them make out on the bridge a little longer. <sighs> I'm swooning a little. Guys, I loved it. I didn't know if I was going to love it for a minute, but I loved it. I loved the story. I loved Harrison Ford. I loved Julia Armand. Ormond. I loved the music. I loved the idea of Paris. I loved Maude. I love when she said that little leprechaun is threatening us. I, I love the parties and I loved David, even David. Oh, and I loved her dad and I loved all the staff. And I even loved Elizabeth the pediatrician. I loved it all. <laughs> it just made me so happy to watch a movie like this. I kept saying, I don't know how I want this to end because I was so mad at Linus, but then it did. And he said all the right things and it ended perfectly. Oh, and I loved Martha's Vineyard. No notes. <laughs> I feel like it's one that's, there are a few movies that I watch when I'm really sad or just need something comforting and familiar and calming. I feel like this might be added to that list. It was just so good. Thank you so much for watching along with me. Yes, I promise I will watch the original with Audrey Hepburn, but don't be mad. I do not think I could love it more than this one. We shall see. Have a wonderful night. Au revoir.